69 was a strange year, the year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown-up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much, and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Wait for me in the car. Gonna be long, Mom. Depends how long it takes to convince Mr. Hutt to pay me. I don't like him. Nobody does. Can I come with you? No, baby. Gotta do this alone. Louise? Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. Hey. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Oh, I'm out of time. You know, he can't mess with Hut when he's reading. Bet you can give it a shot. Mom really dug Alvin. The war messed him up a bit, and he ended up like most of the vets, in a dive bar. So you're leaving us, honey. How'd you guess? Your eyes, you're already gone. I'm gonna miss you, old timer. I'll miss you too. Thanks. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right you're quitting? Yeah. What's next? I gotta take care of my business. 
Sound serious. Because a hut? More serious. I gotta find a home for my son. Yeah, that's heavy. Good luck, Lou. Thanks. Boring. I barely remember Hut, Mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Hello, Mitch. You dropped five dollars. Oh, thanks. You're a good boy. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. Oh, almost forgot. Got something for you. Old times. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. So cool. Thanks. Go find your mother. still doing here. You don't work here no more. I came for my money. What fucking money? You're the one who quit. You owe me for the last two weeks. I owe you? Okay, let's talk. Come into my office. Welcome to Hut's kingdom, sweetheart. Oh, here we are. What were we talking about? Right, about you owing me a hundred and fifty bucks, sweetheart. I owe you nothing. That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my eighty-five bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? All I want is what you owe me. What a pity. Your lack of ambition won't get you very far. You won't even hear my offer. The dough, Mr. Hutt. How about 200? No thanks, just pay for my work. You're making me mad, honey. I know your type, playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150.
Are you done? Then please give me my pay. Oh, last chance. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I've got a better idea. Ah, you bitch! Mom! So, how did it go? What you doing, Louise? Cashing in my overtime. Mr. Hub will kill me for that. I need this dough. Here's a 10 spot to chill you out. You fucking bitch! I'll fuck you up! What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my joint! Hey Wyatt, is it just me, or is Fatso asking for it? Nah, Billy, it's not just you. Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. talking nonsense. But his karma just caught up with him. What's karma? I'll tell you later. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Alvin. Can I borrow it for a sec? Wait for me in the car, okay? I promise you, this will be the best month ever. to Grandpa Elijah this instant, Louise. You scared him half to death. Great. I hope he dies. No wonder Dad ran away from you. You'll never see me again. One day you'll beg me to take you back. Later, Mom told me coming back home was the stupidest idea she'd ever had. The house is so huge. What are we waiting for? Butch. And who are you? The police? Louise, I'm your auntie. 
I don't know you. Is your mom around? Mom! Some ants here! Louise? Kathy! I missed you guys so much! Sorry, Lou. My hands are messy. Sure. Sorry for dropping in on you like this. And who's that? My son, Mitch. It's time he met his family. Say hello to your auntie and your cousin. Hello, auntie. A cousin? You lie. Why? Because he's colored. What's the difference? You don't know? Gee whiz, Mom. Are they our family? Come on in. Passing through? No, I'd like to stay a while. Unfortunately, we've got guests already. I have no room for you. Kathy? Who's that? Some Louise, Granny. Louise. I knew you'd be back with your tail between your legs. Mitch, meet Granny. Hello, Granny. Where's your daddy? Did he leave you, poor child? It runs in the family. Um, Louise wants to stay with us. But it's not the best time, right? It couldn't have worked out better. But maybe we shouldn't decide until Grandpa's back from his walk? Suit yourself. What was your name again, kid? It's Mitch, Granny. Don't you Granny me. Just Margaret if you must. Understood? Can I say that too? Boys, uh, go and play outside. Just like old times, Mom making a pie with her daughters. You learned how to make a pie. No, but I can show you where the flour is. Can you do that? Your turn. My dad was in the Marines, and you know what he said about the blacks? Can't wait to hear it. He said the blacks are strong and dumb, but you're not even strong. Back off, or I'll mess you up. But you can't throw either. Come on, your turn. Can you hit the same spot as me? Okay, we aim for the ball on the roof. Yeah, it fell up there once. I start. Lucky shot.
Butch, Mitch, where the hell are you? Don't tell her it was me. What's in it for me? I'll give you my dinner sandwich. I don't want your sandwich. Is it what you want? What's your favorite toy? Uh, the Sherman. The tank? The one that blows the gooks away, Nam. I have patents in Nam. All right, I'll take the Sherman. No, my dad gave it to me. Then I'll tell him it was you. You're a bastard. Deal. Broke the window. What's going on? Come on, spill it. Butch did. Back to your room and not a peep until dinner. Grandpa will punish you when he gets back. Lou, can we talk? Louise, let Mitch take the blame. What? Are you nuts? You know how harsh grams can get with kids. I'll figure out a way for you to stay with us for a while. No. Why should my son take the blame for yours? You don't understand. When Rick died, Butch became... I don't know. He misses his father terribly. It's not his fault. Please. No. Why should my son take the blame for yours? You haven't changed a bit. I hope Grandpa kicks you out before nightfall. Lou, can you help me with something upstairs? Don't let them use you. I saw everything through the window. What did you see? Butch throwing a rock through the window. We know. He confessed already. But Grandpa doesn't know. We'll tell him when he gets back. Perhaps. But Kathy will do anything to keep Butch out of this. But you can tell the truth. I don't know. I just want for us to get along. Mm-hmm. Go to your boy. He's playing in Butch's room. That house was terrifying. All they had were memories. This is a photo of grandfather's family, just after having arrived to the States from Poland. They turned more American than Americans. There was a rifle on the wall, always loaded in case some communist showed up at their doorstep. Mom told me that Auntie Kathy read fairy tales for her at night. Her mother had never done that, and neither did mine. Grandpa's almost here. Go upstairs and call the boys for dinner. Fine. Auntie had a shrine to her husband there. He died in Vietnam. 
and became the hero of the house. Which mom's calling you. She took out a bag of chips. Hmm, that's not how I remembered that room. Mom, check out these awesome toys Butch has. I guess all he plays is war. Boys always play war. Right, and then you perish in war. Like Butch's dad? Yes. Like my dad? <laughs> no, sweetheart. Your dad went missing in action in peacetime. Will he ever be found? Butch has some cool posters, look. Do I have to listen to what your father wouldn't allow? We live in his house! That's exactly our problem! Sure, go on, get smashed so the whole world can see how low this family has fallen! I don't want them to argue. You shouldn't have lied about Father Judah! It wasn't a lie! One day, Daddy will leave us because of your lies, or Grandpa will kick him out. Why is Butch so nervous? It's just a window. You're right. But don't let them talk you into taking the blame. Come on, Mom. I'm not a knucklehead. Anyhow, how do you like it here? Do you want to stay longer? To you? Yes. I want to be where you are. Louise, Grandpa's back. Roll call time. Come on. Roll call? Yep. Come meet your great-grandfather. I could see how that house was changing her, and not for the better. It was far worse than the sickness which was eating her from inside. I was dreading what would happen if she decided to stay there, and I wanted to go away, but more attractions were still to come. <laughs> 